Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Uh, the three worst words that a Vancouver or a British Columbia home buyer can ever hear is property transfer tax or PTT. Now, the property transfer tax was introduced by the provincial government back in 1987. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that it was meant as a wealth tax. Uh, it was meant to curb speculation in the high-end home housing market. Um, now, the PTT at that time, back in 1987, and it still holds today, they've never adjusted it, was 1% on the first 200000 and 2% on the balance. Now, everybody who buys a home in British Columbia has to pay the property transfer tax, and it can't be added to your mortgage. It's a one-time tax that has to be paid in cash to the provincial government. The only exception is, is a first-time home buyer who has never purchased a property anywhere in the world, not just British Columbia, and it's under $450,000. They get a one-time exemption on that PTT, but for everybody else, you've got to pay it. Now, the PTT, as I say, has been around and never been adjusted since 1987. Well, since 1987, the average price of a Vancouver home, or a lower mainland home, I should say, has gone up 500%. 500% it's gone up and the PTT has never changed. So back when it was first introduced, 95% uh, of all the sales were under 200,000. So it was only triggering that 1%. Uh, today, 96% of all the sales in the lower mainland are above $200,000. So the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, we've been petitioning for years, but it's picking up a bit more momentum now. We're petitioning the government to adjust this property transfer ta tax to reflect the current housing values. Now, if we were to roll it all the way back or index it back to where it was in 1997, that $200,000 threshold, where's where the 2% starts, we would need to bump that up to $1.4 million to be what it's reflective of as the home values today. Now, we're not that dumb. We know that uh, we're absolutely at be a pipe dream for the provincial government ever to raise that threshold to 1.4. So we're being pretty, pretty conservative. All we're asking for is to raise that threshold, that 2% threshold, to 525,000. So 1% on the first 525, and then 2% on anything over that. The reason being that most first-time buyers can at least get into their first one-bedroom condo or a one-and-den for under 525 and only trigger that 1%. So you can go onto the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver's website. There's a link there. You can also go to the Facebook page, Facebook slash REBGV, which is the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, and sign a petition to adjust the PTT. Now, uh, another stat that I've got here is last year in 2012, the average property transfer tax paid in Vancouver was $12,000. It's a lot of dough. Now, will this ever get adjusted? Will they raise it to 525 or higher or even repel the thing? I don't think so. I don't think we have much of a chance here. Um, this has turned into one of the biggest tax grabs there is. Uh, the provincial government is drunk on the revenue. It's going into the general coffers. Um, in 2012, it, uh, they collected somewhere in the neighborhood of about two or three billion dollars in PTT. So if they were ever to cancel that, where's the deficit going to come from? But hey, you can try. Property transfer tax, it's probably the three worst words that a home buyer uh, wants to hear, but it's there. I'm Owen Bigland. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, start following me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is at Owen Bigland. I'll see you next time.